Alright, y'all have been asking for this for too long. Let's make a little death animation effect uh, effect thing. Not animation because it's not finished. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's grab this and make another file. There we go. You're gonna gra grab a skin you like. Uh, in my case, that's this skin. Or at least my concept skin thingy. Yeah. And first thing we might want to do is... We don't want to see these bones when when we're working. So let's go to layout. What the hell? <laughs> and enable this and disable when, when you go into this little tab, the bones and maybe the extras so that we can select her. Let's turn these on for beautiful effect. Oh, I mean, beautiful effect like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is add a little cube and this cube we're gonna move to the side maybe scale it down a bit that doesn't really matter for now now we're gonna go in edit mode and press ctrl b in order to bevel it not by a lot but like yeah about this is good okay scroll up with with or down with your mouse mouse wheel to adjust how many segments you want i think about three is nice because you won't really see the resolution when they're going to be as small as we're gonna make them. Now let's give it a little shader. Remove the principal BS BSDF. Add in, uh, not that. Add in an emission. There we go. Shader. A little mix. RGB. A little color ramp. Make this a dark blue. Something like that. Maybe a little less dark. We'll see. And add another very saturated light bright beautiful blue there we go and we'll instantly copy that to place right there add an object info which we're going to pluck the random in there and in there but in here we're going to add a math multiply color ramp layer weight fractional let's see because like fractional just looks a bit better than this one to my eyes uh, or it looks more like the official Fortnite thing as you can see I think this looks better this is just to give it a little bit more detail so I think with the other one I made this about 3.32 oh yeah that looks good okay we'll slide this forward a bit slide this all the way down there now oh, that should do it okay plug that in there plug that in there that in there uh, slide that up a bit that in there there you go and up that emission a little bit what you can do with the slider now is either make them there we go just to show as a little example make them like, look like this one singular color or add some of that detail in there as i do with the other one hmm. maybe we need to increase this by a little bit anyway we're gonna make this look a little bit more blue and for that just fill in this code 4788 <laughs> ff double f there you go and for the darker color we're gonna fill in this code and here as well and i'm not, I'm not exactly sure why i did that the way i did, did this did this but it probably has to do something with with the reference so we'll keep it like this now that we're done with the cube we can just go ahead and delete these so that we have one cube left we can go ahead and do the whole geometry notes thing okay so let's add a new geometry node system and we are going to add an attribute or just proximity attribute we're gonna run we're gonna grab an object info plug the geometry off into the target and then we're gonna grab a little instance object which we're which will be where our character is going to be dissolved i think that's that's a good word for it anyway we're gonna set this in the viewport display as wire so that we can still see our character if we move this through her like that now we're gonna have to name this something so let's name this i don't know dist for distance and we're gonna grab for this one we're gonna set this to relative and grab the cube we just made maybe give the cube a name let's say dissolver 
that will do. And this is just the cube. So, next thing we're gonna do is add a little, I don't want to scroll there, vertex color. And not that one, we want one that's just called call. Anyway, we're gonna add a color ramp, attribute color ramp, which is gonna say that this, you know, this thing we made here, is gonna write its value to call, call. Which basically means this proximity node tells this this mesh or the, the character where this is. So if it gets closer, the value is gonna go white. And if it gets far, further away, the value is gonna get blacker. Which this attribute, attribute color ramp writes to call, which is in here. And why is that? useful we're gonna go into sh we're gonna see that we're gonna do shader editor and i think this is the right one Ooh, that's a lot of a lot of things so if you just grab a vertex color and type in call and just kind of preview that we can see that there's the texts where our cube is yeah now we're going to invert that uh Basically because we're gonna fill in something that only works when this is, well, inverted. <laughs> Add a point distribute. There we go. Uh, it might be a good idea to, before we, <laughs> before we do that, add a little join geometry and plug this in there so that we still have our model. And for the density, we're going to plug in call. Now, as you can see, if we move this here, things are gonna appear. Well, uh, let's just kind of scale this number up to make it a little bit easier for us. And as a point instance, oh, what the hell was that? Oh, oh my God. Point instance, there we go. If we just select for the point instance, our little cube here, whoa, that's a lot of cube, which we can move away as soon as this moves away. But we don't want that to be as large as it is. So we're gonna add a little thing, which is an attribute randomize, which we're gonna set to skill. And this we're gonna take all the way down. Oh my God. As you can see that controls the skill. Wow, shocker. <laughs> 0.03 I think is good. Yep, looks good to me. As you can see, if we move this away, so do the cubes. Now we don't want these to not exist at all. So maybe scale that up a bit. Uh, set this to 05. Yeah, now we're going to add another color ramp right here. And set this to another value, which we're going to make. I'm not sure what we call it. So let's just call it big or small boss and for this we're going to drag our little white thing out here i'm gonna go into solid mode because oh i can't stand that it's still laggy what anyway we're going to add another value which we're gonna set to black nope we're gonna set to black thank you and we're gonna add a little attribute math in there which we're gonna set to boss uh, oh wait, first we're gonna set this to multiply or doesn't really matter in what which order you do it, but like anyway. <laughs> okay, then we're going to go scale and then scale again. So what's happening now? Oh, <laughs> I think it's happening the wrong way around. Uh, or it's not. Maybe I just need to, well, I'm gonna trust my initial node setup and just go with this. It might not look like a lot now, but it might, you know, or will probably make sense later on. Okay, now we are going to add a, wait, another, <laughs> another color ramp. Whoa. Okay, let's move this aside a bit so we can have our color ramps all around here and drag this to the side and call this instead of call, we could, we'll call this rot for rotation in here. We are gonna add another math attribute, uh, math uh, attribute, math. There we go. And set this to multiply, which we're gonna set to rot, and then rot 
rotation, which is gonna make it rotate in every single way, every single direction, I think. Uh, yeah, and the, re and the result is gonna be, be rotation. So basically what's gonna happen is that the cubes are going to move or rotate when this thing passes and i think not a lot is happening right now so we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna change that we're gonna set this to four and now they're going to rotate more yeah look at that wow and they're still not really leaving the body so what we're going to do with that is an attribute mix there we go we're gonna set this to vector this to multiply uh this float we're gonna set to i think an attribute which is gonna be our broad uh no it's not really making sense anymore but i think it will work <laughs> okay position another one position we're gonna set these to one uh one oh how i did that by the way is you hold down your left click and then slide down and then you select all these values and something will happen as you can see and anything you type in will come will be typed in under that. So let's set that to one. And we're gonna set our Z or Z value to another value. Yeah. Wow, as you can see, that does something great. Now if you just if we're just gonna make them lay down, that would be that would work better. So if we just nope. You would see no, that's not the right way. Okay, let's 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 not make her lay down. Lay down. Uh, maybe pull that up a bit. You'll see that shit happens, and you can play around with these values a bit, and you'll see that yeah, stuff happens. Great. Okay, I see that these are a bit too evenly moving, so we might wanna. Or moving too evenly. We might want to add another attribute to randomize. Randomize. There we go. And let's see. We're going to set this to factor. And we're going to set this to... Okay, I'm going to think really hard. Oh, wait. <laughs> I don't have to think really hard. This is going to be position. And... Oh, what the hell? This is going to be one or not, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, we have to set this to a uh, new value. So, pause. We'll just set this to pause. There we go. And we'll set this at uh, this factor to an, an, an attribute. And we'll set this to pause. And we'll set that to 1.4. And this to like 1.2. And now, I think if you move... Oh, not that one. <laughs> if you move this, it will move very randomly. Yeah! Although I do still want it to be more random. Let's see, move this up. Yeah, okay, this down. As you can see, oh, so much randomness. Thank you. Oh, look, it's working, oh my God, yeah. So if you only want your character to lie down, I think it's good to just uh, put this all to one, or just put this all to one, except for this one, uh, except for the Z value. So this one is going to be something like two, and this one is going to be, or something like uh, 1.5, and this one is going to be something like 2. Which would mean that uh, only it, it only moves up on the Z value. Which is exactly what I did here, as you can see. Well, uh, I didn't do exactly what I did there. I didn't add the randomized node, which I did add here. But this one is very handy if you want some more randomization. And randomization is key. So as you can see, I, I only moved up the the Z value because, well, it only it only has to move on the Z value here. If I would set this to like 1.5 or 1.1 and this to 1.3 or something, as you can see, it will move other directions as well, and not just the the uh, yeah the up direction that's up the z value oh maybe this looks pretty good actually <laughs> uh i i'm gonna need to keep that in there these values well except that there's a little bit of a big wall right there which we can fix with another attribute randomized node which we did add here so yeah we won okay let's set this a bit higher as you can see uh oh wait let's let's add back uh, our 
our things which we initially had there. Look beautiful. Wow. Okay, now that we have these, I think we're pretty much done with the geometry nodes section. And we can move on to the shader section thingy. Let's move this down a bit so can we can start with this thingy. Yeah. Okay, depending on the model, you need might need more density here. So let's set this to 1000 just for the sake of lot of cubes equals better cube. Look, that looks good. Oh yeah. Look at all those cubes. Oh my god. So beautiful. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting lost. <laughs> Strafing away from the goal which we're trying to achieve. Okay. So what we have here. Again, we have our vertex color here. Um, which right now isn't showing anything. Why are you not showing anything? I fucking hit you. I guess we have to go back in here uh, to make another one of those. Okay, so let's make another one. Let's call this call 2. Come on. Or just... Uh, in this map yeah and we're gonna add a color ramp attribute color ramp but we're gonna slide this in there i think one sec i'll just grab my reference oh no we have to cut them we have to copy that and change this to not another thing let's just change that to prox for proximity call this attribute prox again call this and maybe flip this color ramp which now, if we go into shading and set this to invis map, look, there we go. There is our little color ramp thing. Yeah. I'm not sure why it's that, that, that big. That might be just because this model is just small compared to other things. But we don't care because it doesn't really matter. Anyway, something we can instantly do to make her disappear under the cubes is just kind of make a little color ramp and plug that in there. Add a little in this oh, the <laughs> a transparency node. Plug that in there, plug that in there, plug that in there. And then we go into this and then we'll set this to clip. And let's see. Yeah, look, she's appearing and uh, basically <laughs> why why those other things aren't aren't disappearing that's just that's, that's just because that's another shader uh i wish i could merge these all in one like oh my god these materials because i have to copy this in there and i'm not even done with that because as you can see in here oh my god that's a lot okay let's grab this uh and this and this this is what you need to create. Let's pull this back a bit. This little effect here. That the QB thingies. Which, to be very honest, I do not want to make right now. So I'm just going to make it a little shader. And pull it, uh, give it a name. Uh, fucking cubes or stuff. Uh, awesome. And basically what you can do with that is just copy it. And I don't know. Uh, paste it in here. Clipboard is empty. Why can't you just press Control C in Blender? It's so it's so so annoying. Okay, copy it like that, I guess. Just right clip and then copy. Then go in here. It's still empty. <laughs> my my life. Okay. Then we're going to have to go file, or uh, go in and just go file. Up, not link. File a. Bend, uh, creative. I don't know why I call it creative. Oh, no, because I made it for a creative thumbnail. Anyway, no three uh, fucking cubes or stuff. Uh, where is it? Oh, wait, I have to add it into my scene. Fucking cubes or stuff. Uh, plug that in there. Uh, this should be named Invest Map. So I guess, yeah. If you want to uh, edit this, if you, if you want this to work, you have to change this to uh, your thingy your color map you just made uh which i called invis map uh and i think you're all good after that what if the oh my god sometimes i just add a lot of unnecessary notes anyway let's see if it works yeah no it doesn't okay i guess we're gonna have to set this to instead of clip we're gonna set this to hash and it still doesn't work so what we're gonna do then is gonna set this back to clip and go in here and maybe 
Nope, not that one. Wow. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to pull that all the way back. And let's see if that works better. Oh, it does. Oh, beautiful glory. Oh, my God. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> That's not often that you, that you just can grab a shader and it almost works instantane instantaneously. <laughs> wow. And I guess we can plug in something thingies, factories, color, skill. We can go ahead and plug these skills in there. Oh, grab the skill. Grab the fucking skill. Plug that in there and plug that in there. So you can have a little more control over that. And now you can control the size of those skills, of those cubes, little thingies. Look at that. Wowie. Now as you can see, uh, th this doesn't look like anything, but that's just because we have to copy these. <sighs> we have to copy these into every single material thing that's around this place. And then we're gonna have to look, you do that and then uh, set this to two or 10. And then we're gonna have to set this to clip and then it's not, it's not working. But that's just because this thing is right there. Look, her face is appearing. Yay. And then we're going to have to go into here. Copy this thing. And it's going to go... Oh, I... there's one single material for the eyelashes. Why? Why, have to... Why do you have to do this to me? Okay, set it to clip. And then it's gone. Eyes. There. Uh, clip. And... Uh... Oh, no. These eyes are separated from the body. Anyway, what you have to do to make everything of the body disappear is basically just... Go into the material of it, uh, copy that same thing, and you'll see that it marks it like that. And then you set this to clip, and that goes away. And then when you pull this down, it comes back. And I think that those are a little bit too big, so we're gonna set these one to 20. And where's this she? This one, this one to 30. Yeah, look at it, look at it. I mean, or you can set it to hashed, and then just go in here and fucking. Slide this all the way down there. Slide this all the way up there. And then it's more of a little gradient you have there. Like that. So it doesn't go out as abruptly. Uh, which I would use eventually. So, but like alpha hash is a little bit too, a little bit slow. So I tend to leave it as clip uh, for performance. Anyway. It is working, as you can see, just like that. You can remove her, you can delete her, you can do stuff with her. Yeah, awesome. So let's go for one, that one more time. This is how it looks like inside the little shader. Uh, this is basically why those cubes are here. Uh, let's, okay, let's unpa unpack that for a minute. Uh, ungroup. I say ungroup you. Alt G, how do you ungroup? There you go. Okay, this looks, it might look a bit, this might look a bit, this, this this might look a bit intimidating, but it's really not. Um, this is a brick texture. Beautiful. This is another brick texture. Beautiful. And then these brick textures mix together into what is essentially this uh, gradient. And then a color burn. And then we get this mask, which this mask uh, is a mask for the emission, which looks like this. And then there's uh, this thing that gives it color and this color i'm making this really difficult to follow <laughs> but anything anyway the idea behind this is that you can just copy this shader and throw it in uh oh, throw it in here like that and plug it in there and just delete that because or or you can do oh wait or you can just do it like this where basically <laughs> yeah, it, it, it can be as simple as just basically two notes, but then you wouldn't have this uh, cube effect. And if you want to copy it to over to another character, so say we'll just use this uh, banana banana again. Oh, I already see why uh, we needed to add a lot of uh, a lot of these cubes. It's basically because uh, <laughs> the, this is just too small. So let's set this back to like 300 and just blow up. Oh, not that big. Load this up to like 06, this to oh, 01, and now it's working better. But that's just preference, you know. This is more how it looks in game. Anyway, if you want to carry it over to another character, 
such as Pili over here. You just grab this and let's see, uh, this is called Geometry Notes, uh, which you can rename by the way to Death Data Death Effect and just kind of copy it right there and then you get you get you you get that already but it's not exactly that what you want so uh you'll have to completely uh copy these uh vertex colors so you'll have a call and an invis map these have to be exactly named these have to be identical and then you can just go into shader editor and copy your little fuck your little shader and plug that in there and of course set this to alpha clip or hashed which one you prefer is up to you and plug that into there and as you can see maybe scale that down a bit it just works it just works like that it just does yeah so uh, anyway, that has been the end of this tutorial. Uh, again, you can just kind of mess around. Set this to like one, one, two, one. And then you'll get the effect uh, that made this whole thing go viral or not viral. Just just very requested in the first place. As you can see, if you set this to two and this my way to one pick two. So uh, I'm going to end the, the, the tutorial here. Uh, I hope you liked it and I will see you next time.